and how you can expand the knowledge. There is a big difference. If you soak a potato, and uh, uh, you put the Gans in the water, and you grow it, this is the ground. Now, the field are expanding in the ground, and into the other potatoes. So, now this potato, with the next potato, has created a field, because there's another one, we grow potatoes in line. So, now you created this field. But now, if you come and put Gans water on top as well, you have created a shield different way. The potato receives different kind of energy than when it was on its own, it was just soaked. The potato has the ability now to link to above soil. Because now, there is two layers of it. The stronger, weaker, or weaker, or a stronger, you create a flaw with the upper environment. Is the potato, which is not, or has not been soaked with uh, Gans water, behaves differently in another field, and grows totally different? Would the change in the environment of the Gans, of the, between the two, the above the soil and below the soil, creates a flaw? Do we need to add to the knowledge and understand something which we all know? What about if we use for the ground base, a very simple Gans of CO2? But above it, on the ground level, we put CH3 or CO2. What would difference would it make to this? Because now, the soil is literally is irrelevant. Because you transfer the plasmatic energy. This is how we have to extend the knowledge. As I said, the teaching is done. Is application and implication of it, which changes the condition, and what we need. If you understood, this simple principle, just this one. If you look at this environment on its own, what happens in the drought condition? Doesn't matter what the soil carries, the environment and the moisture of the environment will feed the plant, will feed, will see, feed the seed. That's why we see when you use against materials, the water absorption of need for the water reduces by 50% or 80%, because now you have made the link with the outside environment to the seed. But because we are very much physically orientated, we don't put anything on it, we think there is nothing happening. We see the two cups next to each other. Both hundred and odd days, exactly the same. And we see on the picture, water, Gans. But, very simple, all of you know, Gans is plasmatic, so that, the one without the water, is actually receiving most probably more than the one in the water. As you see in some of the pictures, it looks much healthier than the one with the Gans. Because it's taking the energy totally. Extend the knowledge. understand the implication, or understand the application. Just don't do, I put a Gans on it, this is what happened. Always, the minute you put a Gans, look what the environment you have created plasmatically. Do you want to take from it? Do you want to give to it? Do you want to stabilize it? Now you understand, your potato, with a Gans on it, is already got its own, Literally, the totality, is own greenhouse.
it's you by putting different gans on top of the soil, which dictates the gradient difference between the two and the flow of the field. If you become expert in it, understand it more, you can put with the ganses of, let's say, calcium, which, let's say, cauliflower needs. And then, whatever is a calcium in the environment, is fed directly, you have a different cauliflower. Maybe in the texture, maybe in the speed of growth. There is something to go further in the knowledge. If you've been with us, you understand it. The creation of the Sun, and the Earth, and the magnetic gravitational field flow between them, does not, in the interaction, only gives the atmosphere of this planet to us. But, in the same process, part of the elements coming from the Sun's radiation, which are in balance in the gravitational magnetic field, the strength of the planet, will land on the planet, get attracted to it, and they convert into the matter state. So, you don't need to put, as you think, just the calcium gas doing it, but in what creating a calcium gas above the plant, you extract what is in the environment, which is at the strength which the potato needs as a calcium or a cauliflower. Extend the knowledge a step further. Open your eyes to the horizon of knowledge, and then it becomes very easy. Understand the totality of it, not just focusing on, I put the gans on the potato. What does that do? How does it absorb? Does it affect the next potato? Does it affect two fields down the road, if I feed all my plants with CO2? It's not the boundary anymore. You find out, your neighbors have a better harvest, and they say, oh, it was a good year this year, but they don't know you already created the environment for them. Maybe it's a bad year for them, because you created the environment that the plants they grow does not need that. So, he has to use again for his plant. We don't know this, we have to extend the knowledge. It's part of the evolution.